All right, so I just tried out my 3D printed knob. It slips over the rubber one on the uh, 450. And um, it's actually pretty nice. Because that was the first thing I thought about this radio was, man, this knob sucks. So, there we go. I got to, uh, it's not, it didn't print like amazing, but it's not bad. I just, uh, think it could have looked nicer. I don't know how to make it look nicer. Um, I didn't do anything with the software, so. But now it's kind of got like a nice weighted feel to it and much easier to use. So. I uh, got that printed. Um, I had uh, a one for the G G90 also printed. Um, and like I said, I printed these legs. Um, I'm going to try printing with PLA instead. I don't like this finish. Also, I want something that's not shiny. Um... I know this is really durable stuff, but I don't want I don't want it shiny like that. Um, but you know, I think uh, where's the radio? I mean, like with the plastic knob, it's possible to mimic that kind of design, maybe. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna try printing some other stuff. I found also. Um, the uh, carrying handle end piece plastics uh, for the 102. I've got this long list of files, but these were the two that I printed. Um, and I'm going to change those out, but I might print them again. The problem with this stuff is it takes like two hours to print these two little pieces. So you want to make sure that's what you want. So anyway, let me go in here and look and see what our temperatures are. Um, I, I guess probably 200 for PLA, or it can be even less than that. Oh, no, 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 what the hell happened here? Yeah. Good Lord, 2,000. <laughs> Enter. Okay, so... I wish this thing would move when you do that. For some reason, this bottom of the screen of this computer is obnoxious. There's a way to change the size of the toolbar down here on the computer. I just don't remember how to do it, but... Yeah, so I, I don't want to print this for two hours and 20 minutes, so. We'll go here. Let's just go in here and quit. So these are the parts that I found. Uh, the ground plane antenna, a 450 knob, an FRG7 knob, which is a 101 knob, actually. An MD100 microphone holder. The FT450 dial pad. I'm not going to mess with that. Um, it looked kind of funky. Uh, rails for the FT2900 or 2800. Um, handle block for the 102. Rails for the 991A uh, or DX10, which might fit this radio. I'm not sure. Um, FT1 side foot. That's something I think I'm missing on one of my radios. Some more 891 protection rails, FTDX10 rails, uh, FT450 side handle, more rails, G90 stand, G90 tuning knob, G90 stand, um, fan stand, one of them is. So, actually, I'd like to print that, but I'm going to wait until I'm a little more familiar with what materials work good for what. Uh, there's a backing plate for the G90. Then you get G90 legs. Form coils for um, uh, <laughs> ground plane antenna. So you like make this antenna and snap this thing to a fiberglass pole, and then you have like I guess a, a coil with a tap on it, like high Q. Um, and I got a couple different ones of that. 
So, those are just things I found yesterday. So, um, I'm not sure which one I want to uh, bother with. What the hell? It's like, how many damn windows have I got open here? So, I don't know, did this thing say Kira to the desktop or not? It doesn't look like it did. We got the uh, mesh mixer, so I got to go in here, open up Kira. So I did find out how to move things around on Kira. That that's pretty good. Um, I ordered a roll of filament on Amazon. It's the uh, Creality brand. I don't know why this thing's not opening. So. I'll have that tomorrow, and then I might be able to tackle some bigger projects without worrying about running out. I've burned through quite a bit printing these rails. This was a, a full roll, um, like a day ago. <laughs> I think it was all the way out. To, it was all the way out to here, so I've used a lot. Um, I hate those rails where, or reels where you can't see inside, and then you have no idea how much is left. Anyway, oh man, I'm waiting for this thing forever. So anyway, we're waiting for that. Um, I'm not sure how you're supposed to attach this particular thing. Um... And I really don't like the quality of it. It's just like, eh. Too, uh, funky looking on the front. So, um, but I, I do like the one for the 450. I just think it would look better if it wasn't shiny. So, I, I don't know what kind of tricks there are to dealing with these things. So, But for now, I'm just going to leave it on there. It's, it's really hard to slide it on there, too. All right, so I'm having problems with this. I don't know what it's doing. This computer is a piece of junk. So, I'll catch you guys in another video.